What do you have to live in? Oh, 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 you can't understand me. I'm sorry. Let me take this off for a minute. Um, there's nobody around, so I get to take this off to talk with you today. Um, boys and girls, I am thrilled to see you. Um, I, I can't wait to see you in person. Um, but what we thought we'd do today is uh, walk you through what we did this week here in the Wild Acre. Uh, we we want to just see you, kind of show you what around. We might take you on a little tour of, of the um, structures that are, are getting completed. We're really, really excited to have this project finished and so that kids can start climbing and crawling and climbing up and jumping and walking all, over the stones in the pond. So, uh, my name is Mr. Heat Dirks, and I am in charge of this project. Um, the D Nature Center is here. Because of the uh, epidemic, pandemic, we're not able to use the Nature Center for a while. So we are outdoors every single day, rain or shine, here we are outside. So, um, what I would like to do is just kind of go over a few rules. Um, not that I swarm, you know, pile on all the rules, but there are some really key important rules for the wild acre. Number one, um, the water, po the, the pond. Uh, it's not very deep, uh, but the rule is that we can't go around it if there's not an adult around. So um, if you fall in it by accident, there's nothing in there that's going to hurt you. There's no sharks swimming around looking for your toes. Um, it is nice cold water. If you would happen to accidentally fall in, uh, we don't. You don't need to panic. You don't need to scream. All you have to do is stand up because the water is only about this deep in there. Um, stand up, and we will. If I have to jump in with my boots, we can get you taken care of. But that water fountain, the water feature, the pond is really one of those things that you need to be cautious with that you don't go in it without an adult around. All right? Um, and the purpose of this program, I forgot to kind of tell you that, there's three reasons why we're, we have built this beautiful place. Number one was that it gets kids outside for unstructured playtime. That when it's all done, kids can go on the bamboo forest and then they can go over here and walk across the pond if there's somebody around, if there's an adult present. Um, close by. Uh, the second thing is to reacquaint kids with science and nature and with God's world. Uh, some kids, we're not getting outdoors very much and we spend a lot of time on computers and all that. And I don't want to give that up. That's important things. However, we know from research that when kids get to play outside, they're healthier, they are, brains are smarter, they're happier, and that's what we're going for at, with this project. The third one is that we can be kind. That we learn to be kind to God's creatures and God's world. That we learn to be kind to animals. The plants that are going to be planted. We haven't started the landscaping yet, but when you see it, it's going to be a garden out here. It's going to be beautiful. But we have to treat those plants in, in, with care. Uh, and the third one is just be kind to people. Be kind to each other. Be kind to your teachers. Uh, those are the three goals of this program, okay? So, what we can do, we kind of went over those rules. Another one is because we're climbers, this is not a playground, it's a natural play space. So you're not going to see playground equipment. You're not going to see plastic tubes to climb and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be all things that are natural in this, in this project. So we have to be careful because there are some things that are harder for kids some that are easier. And it's okay to say you're scared. We have no problem with that. It's all right. You, I don't care who you are, big, tall, like me. There's a lot of things that scare me too. Um, so if it scares you, you just maybe have to back up and try something else that's not as scary. Um, some stuff is going to be really easy. But we have every kid, every size comes out and do it. Even Mrs. Brigham, the counselor, the school counselor, she comes out here and she loves it. She's claiming that she wants one of those chalets as her, her office, and she did all the bamboo forests this week. Um, she comes out every week just to try stuff out. So, I don't know. Let's, do you want to go on a little tour and see what 
we have done and where things are going to go, we'll make this a real fast tour, okay? Come along. We'll go check it out. This is the, the, the pond I was talking about. Uh, so many people have come and taken pictures of the, the lily pads. They're beautiful this time of the year. Uh, they're, they're like spectacular. They don't even look, when you take a picture of them, they don't even look real. Uh, there's a lot of fish in here. Um, little fish yet. We're waiting for bigger fish to come. There's lots of tadpoles and a whole bunch of other things you can come and study. Um, we see evidence of other animals. Sometimes we see some feathers laying on the ground, so we know there's certain birds. Uh, we see the fish. We see lots of pollywogs. Uh, we've had hawks come down. We've been watching the hawks come down and take baths in the, in the water feature. And uh, herons come down and pick the, the fish out of the pond. Um, so it's kind of an exciting place to be. Uh, we love it. The sound is awesome. So when we're outside with class, who could ask for a better classroom than right here? Uh, just beautiful, okay? And so then we have the, the rocks to cross. So they're very solid. When you can go on them, you can cross over the pond. This is what I was talking to. If you stumble and fall, you fall in. Hey, we got you covered. Uh, here. At that point, the kids all say, can I do it again? Can I do it again? Can I do it again? So what, we have to keep on going. So we're going to keep our walk over here to uh, look at the tortoise enclosures. Uh, a pretty amazing uh, structure. Uh, they were built for kids to get up close to the tortoises. I have nine tortoises by the barn. They're going to move into part of this. Uh, if kids wanted to get in by the tortoises, there's a couple ways to get into the pen. Uh, we've spaced these just right so that if kids wanted to get in, now uh, this fat guy, he can't fit in between these two, but the kids can all squeeze in there and they can pet the tortoises once they're in there. There's also this one, which is really amazing. There are three ways to get into the enclosure. So you can step up on this one. There's some posts, there's some steps over there, and there's some steps over there. Some kids are scared. Are you guys scared? You guys who are watching me? Is anybody, uh, anybody daring there? Because this is what you do. If you're brave, you can do this. You can climb up the stairs. And you can look at the tortoises from above. Once I go to the centerpiece, I can go down that way, I can go that way, or I can go this way, and I can look and see those. Again, all the kids who've tried it say, can I do it again, can I do it again, can I do it again? So it's been working out great. Uh, we're gonna walk to the bird aviary now. Uh, I'll go around this way. Still picking up junk along the way. We got litter bugs around here. We got to make sure we get them under control. Now, a lot of times the kids can fit through these, um, but the tortoises can't get out. It's wonderful. It's really um, a cool thing. They also can climb on the rocks and get inside. I'm looking for one that I can squeeze through. Much easier for the kids. Anyway, this is a tortoise enclosure. And now we're gonna to head to the bird aviary over here. All of this is going to be landscaped. Um, some of this is gonna be cut down a little bit. Some of these, the posts, uh, once we figure out, uh, once the plants are in and all that kind of stuff, we'll know how far we have to cut them down. Right now, they look pretty, they're all the same height, but beautiful. And 
this is the uh, Dan's Family Bird Aviary. Uh, it's a 30 foot wide bird aviary made with a cheeky hut. Um, it is beautiful. Uh, when you come, you can look at under here, the man who built this wanted to make this interesting. So he put all kinds of imprints in it, like shells, seahorses, and all that. The kids love just finding the seahorses and the sea stars and the clam shells that are all imprinted into the, the cement. Uh, we don't have any birds in there yet, here yet, partly because we have a lot of landscaping and, um, you know, stuff that, machinery that scares the birds and stuff like that. Um, so we're still working in the process of figuring out what birds we're going to have in here. Uh, it's really, really pretty though. Uh, if you're out there and you're listening to this or watching this and you know anybody who is like a bird breeder or someone who knows a lot about birds or uh, that as a source that we can get some birds from, I would love it if you came and you know, talked to me. Um, I'm always open for uh, something new uh, to make it exciting. This is a cage, that safety cage, so that if I want all the kids to go in, I show the kids this, they could go in, unlock the door over here, come in this space, and then um, shut this door, and then open that one, and then they can go in without letting our expensive birds fly off. But it's a pretty, pretty cool building. And then on our tour, we continued. We'll just kind of, this is all gonna be planted here in the hammock with a lot of uh, Florida uh, foliage, foliage and uh, plants in this little area. And then we go to uh, here. This is the amphitheater and fire pit. Uh, it is pretty warm today, so we don't use it. We meet underneath the deck over there. But uh, this is a beautiful place. Uh, that they tell me these plants, these trees are going to grow so fast, they're going to cover all of us up, and it's going to be beautiful shade. Uh, but we can have chapels out here. We're going to, uh, if there's a guest speaker, this is a perfect place for the kids to sit and talk. Uh, there's a full moon party that we plan on having, nights of full moon so that you can come to school at night and uh, have s'mores and sing and play guitars and just kind of have a nice family time with each other. So that all can take place here in the amphitheater. All right. Well, Sharon, you want to keep coming? This way? All right. And if you're staying with me on this quick, kind of quick tour, uh, this is where more pavers are going to go. Uh, they're in those uh, packages over there. They're going to be laid here. So when kids want to come, you got to come down here. We go this way. Pavers will still be here. Pavers keep going. Pavers keep going this way. And this whole area right here is going to be what is called the Tangled Forest. And the Tangled Forest is a piece of art, kind of. It's made with posts all drilled together. So we take about 40 to 50 posts and we drill them all together and kind of make a beautiful sculpture uh, with those posts. And then the bigger kids can climb all over it and stuff like that. Uh, so, you big kids, this is where you can be. All right? Uh, and I think even the younger kids can do it too. It's not gonna be that high. We're gonna keep moving along down this little path. We have a pretend path, but you can keep coming. And this whole now area, that's gonna be from that grassy section over there, all the way through here is gonna be an obstacle course. It'll be kind of an oval obstacle course with six stations in it. Stations where they can climb underneath it, go through tunnels, crawl through net tubes, uh, go up in balance beams. Six really fun uh, little course right here at the end of this. So that's coming. So you got to come and check this out. Uh, right, we keep going. 
going. Keep going around this way. Make sure he doesn't want to stumble over the rocks. Again, pavers all this way that I walked. When you see these four stumps that are painted red on the top, and not that, that one should be there. Sometimes kids carry the uh, post around. But that is going to be a structure that is gonna be called the lookout point. And it is gonna be about six foot off the ground, uh, two levels of decks uh, with a flag on the top and a little cupola up on the top. And when you climb up, the two stairways up, you'll be fairly high, and when you're up that high, you can overlook this entire wild acre. Um, so that's what we're calling this. It's gonna be really cool. You'll be able to climb way up and then see everything where everybody is. Um, excited to see what this is gonna look like. Uh, let's keep going, because I'm gonna show you what they're gonna start on tomorrow. Their project for tomorrow is So, um, we got the lookout point over there. There's gonna be three chalets against that wall. Those are little A-frame chalets. Uh, you could, um, it's basically if you have a class that wants to come out in the middle school, high school, elementary school, and they wanna do a writing project, they can go into those little A-frame chalets. It's got a wood floor, thatched roof maybe, and, um, you know, you can sit in there. If you wanted to have a birthday party, you could sleep in them, whatever. Um, that's, those three are going to be over there. And then we keep going over here for two more quick things. So, we have two more things to, to show you. This is what we call the bamboo forest. And... Uh, the bamboo forest, it doesn't look like a bamboo forest quite yet. Uh, this, there's three sections to this amazing uh, structure. Uh, the bamboo will be planted around it in, um, on each side of it and kind of hide these beautiful posts. This is the excellent section. So if we start over there, we have the beginners um, section, and then we have the intermediate, and then we have the expert. You can see why this is the expert over here, because you start out real low, and then you gotta make a big old stretch to get up to the high one, and then it goes right down low again. So that one's kind of tough, um, but once, it doesn't really look like a bamboo forest, now it looks like a post forest, but when um, the, the landscaping's done, you'll probably hardly see this post. And so we'll just keep going. Right, and then finally, we're back kind of home, back by the what behind the water fountain, uh, waterfall, excuse me. And this is going to be called the Timber Village. The Timber Village will be for the younger kids. It'll only be about a deck, two feet off the ground, and that deck will go in different directions. And that, and then at the end of each section of um, decking, there's going to be a little playhouse, a little house on the end that they can play house. They can go to the store. They can have a bakery and make me great, delicious um, almond croissants, which I love. And um, that's what this area is for. So that's taking us all the way from the, over here by the pond, all the way around. And um, I just wanted you to see that. Okay, so day one in the Wild Acre, we just took a tour. We did a little bit of climbing. We heard a lot of can we do it again? 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 So, um, thanks for listening. Really appreciate that. There will be days where I'll get on and I'll talk to you about doing some things and I'll challenge you with a couple things. But on this first day, we just wanted you to uh, get an idea of what the Wild Acre is all about. Come when you want to. If you come with a parent, you're invited to come. We'd love to see you. All right? Anytime. Come and check us out. Thank you.
See ya. Bye.